You thought you knew what the fast lane was. Think again. Imagine a super highway designed for speed, thousands of miles of roadway unhindered by limits of any kind, where drivers can go as fast as their Porsches will carry them. Speed. It's dangerous, exhilarating, intoxicating and illegal, beyond clearly set limits that are posted on every major highway in the world. Except one. Welcome to the Autobahn, the only freeway in the world where 212, a speed that police helicopters can't match, is perfectly legal. This is the ultimate driver's fantasy land not just for professionals, but for anyone with a license. A kind of bizarro world where all the basics are in reverse. It's actually illegal to drive too slow. But there are no limits at all for thousands of miles of Autobahn on how fast you can go. Hard as it is to get used to, it's actually OK to pass a cop here at speeds that would land you in prison in the US. A hundred, a hundred and ten miles an hour is perfectly easy to do and uh, very, very comfortable and uh, I find it uh, about the, the normal speed. Although, if you're driving a hundred miles an hour in Germany on the open autobahn, you better watch your rear view mirror and stay right because you may find a BMW or a Mercedes or a Porsche go by at as much as 130, 140 miles an hour. The first time you get on the autobahn is just a, an exhilarating experience. You see that sign the round sign with the diagonal lines through it, which is the end of speed restrictions, and you are now on a road that has no speed limit. Listening to Beethoven as you drive 110 miles an hour down the Autobahn is just one of the life-affirming experiences that you can have if you're a car buff. You're supposed to test your car, test yourself, drive fast. Get places, of course, fast. The road is somewhat of an adventure. Although speed has made the Autobahn famous, the reality of Autobahn driving can be anything but fast. Many sections of the Autobahn are like rush hour in Chicago or L.A. And since the early 1990s, German authorities have employed a sophisticated system of high-tech surveillance and feedback to keep things flowing. The Autobahn inevitably has lots of accidents just like every other major freeway in the world. Not surprisingly, here the worst accidents tend to be speed-related. This car was going too fast for its exit curve and plowed through some Autobahn shrubbery before smashing nose first into a tree. Some of the most horrific crashes are caused by the ultimate Autobahn nightmare. Geisterfahrer, ghost drivers, which are sometimes a kind of German equivalent to freeway shootings. In Deutschland versteht man unter einem Geisterfahrer. Ghost driver means a driver who drives the wrong way on the Autobahn, either into an on-ramp or at the beginning of a highway. That means he's driving alone against the flow of traffic, against all the other cars. The great majority of such terrifying misadventures are accidental, but a small number of sociopaths use the Autobahn as their chosen path of destruction. Free roads for free citizens is the rallying cry of the Autobahn speed lobby, which in Germany has the passion and deep funding of the gun lobby in the US, and of the fantasy identity of armchair speedsters all over the world, who have no other freeway on which they can find out just how far the speedometer will go.